Good morning, everyone. It's really early, and um, I want to start today off with a uh, a video about making prints and a, a couple of shout outs for um, some amazing artists and a shout out for the magical unicorn because she finds this really important that I do a shout out. So, magical unicorn, hello from Holland. Okay, first off, um, I'm not going to uh, show you the video because I think, guys, you got to go over there and watch these videos because I found someone new and I will give you the name. This is her name, Elise Fournier. I think something like that is pronounced. But write it down, put it in YouTube, and pull up her channel because she has um, all by herself come up with some special technique which I find is pretty amazing, and I'm going to try to do that uh, later on this weekend. Uh, the good thing about this type of uh, pouring, and I'll show you a little bit, but I, guys, please go over and subscribe and give her a thumbs up. What she does is she puts the paint on the canvas like that, then uh, fills, see that, fills it in. And then she pushes the paint under. So it's something like a push and a pull, only she pushes the paint under with the, uh, the tube. And as you can see, then she spreads it out. And look at the amazing cells she gets. And it is the way to do the bigger canvases that, you know, you get something that is really beautiful. But we all know that the bigger the canvas, the more difficult it is to get something that is really pleasing to the eye. Now, this one is awesome. But there's another one that I really, really like. And that's this one. Um, I'm just going to take you through it really, you know, uh, a couple of seconds. But this is amazing work. Really, it is. And you can see here where she pushed the paint under the uh, under the color, the white, that it makes some amazing stuff. And then she spreads it out, and she has two canvases, as you can see. Look at that. So, guys, pop over to her channel and subscribe and um, help a beginning artist on her way on YouTube. That would be so nice. That would really make me happy. Okay, guys, um, then I'll put this one away, stop, and I was going to show you how I do a, uh, a print, how I make the uh, bevel around the print. So what you do is you open up your Photoshop, then you open up uh, one of your paintings. Now, these are lots of paintings, uh, but I'm looking for... Uh, this one because I just checked it for image quality and this is uh, pretty pretty good this is kind of uh, colors I like they pop off the uh, background now if you are not totally uh, pleased with the colors um, it might be that your camera didn't pick them up that well up here you have image and here you have adjustments now you can do it the automatic way that's this so if I click on this, you might just see a little twitch. I'll put it back right now. See that? It just sort of cleaned the color a little bit. Watch when I click it. I can really see what's happening, but I know that a lot of people can't see it. But just that slight difference, um, it makes a world of difference. But I'm going to put it back because I normally I like to do it um, by hand. So I go to brightness and contrast, brighten it up a little bit, and give it a little bit more contrast. Then I go to adjustments. Sometimes I'll look at the curves, what I got. That's okay. Cancel. And sometimes I will do... Uh, let's see, levels to see if everything, the exposure is uh, done well. Here you see a peak. So if you take that off a little bit, you, you see 
immediately you see the difference. See that? It's darkening it. So a little bit, not too much. Now that's the, um, I'm satisfied with the, what I got here. Now you can do a couple of things. You can just frame this or you can think, okay, I'd like to have a square, but then you have to crop it. So then I would take that off. I think that is the most appealing part of the whole, uh, of the whole image. So I'll keep it like this. Okay. Then when you want to frame it, what I do is image and then canvas size. And I want a really little black line around it. Now, as you can see, this, if I were to print it, it would go to, let's put it on, uh, inches. I could print this up to seven, uh, 37, uh, inches or 36 square. You know, if you want it totally square, that's no problem. You just go to image, image size. Uh, you, you constrain, you don't constrain proportions, but you go up here. Let's see, document size. I'll give it the inches because most of you know. Then let's do 36 by 36. I'm going to give it a 120. Okay, there it is. Now it's totally square. Now you go to canvas size. And we want black, and we want about, I would say, mm, I would put one centimeter. Let's test that one first. Okay. Oh, oh, cancel. Sorry about that. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure what I'm doing now. Oh, he wants me to uh, count the whole thing, but we're not going to do that. Okay, this is one centimeter. Now, if I zoom in, you can see the little black line going all around my image. Then do it again. Canvas size. Only this time we're going to take white, and we're going to give it a whole lot more. We're going to give it uh, 15 centimeters. Both sides, there you go. And that's the simple way. You have a nice border, and people can frame it. If they put a mat over it, they can just go, you know, here on the, uh, they can put it under so that you get a little bit of uh, white. But you can do all kinds of stuff. But I like doing the black line around it as an outline. It brings the colors, makes it pop. Now, if we were to do the whole thing black, you can do that too. Whoops, canvas size, we take black, and we say 15 by 15, okay. And as you can see, that's the same effect that I show you guys with those mats. You know, all of a sudden, the colors pop even more. Now, if you want to put your name in it, what I do is take a new layer, don't name it because we're only going to use one. Then I take my text tool, put that in here, and I'm choosing a color that will that we will see. Okay, then Anne Marie Ritterhoff, and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. But I like it to have a really, nah, that's too thick. I don't like the, the thick letter types when we're doing that on a, that's kind of thin. That'll work. Okay. Then we, up here we have this uh, drag tool. And we can just drag it off into the corner here. And if you really only want it as a watermark. Some people uh, who are going to post on uh, Photoshop, then you put that in the middle. And I would do select it again. I would make it a lot bigger, 150. 
There it is, smack in the middle. And then over here on the right, you have the opacity. Now, make sure you have the good layer selected. And if you slide this, you can make it almost disappear into the background. But it is there because it's a sort of a watermark. So as you can see here, it is there, but for posting, it's okay. So um, for the people that are really, you know, that get ripped off images a lot or something like that, you can, uh, you can do that. And then, of course, if you don't want it, you just click it and you just say delete layer, say yes, and it's gone. So you can uh, choose whichever you want. Now, um, I'm going to uh, make this into a print. I think I'll, uh, I might leave it like this. Eh, I'm not sure. But this is uh, the print giveaway this weekend. And it's a beautiful print. I really like the colors. They uh, really pop, so I'm going to do a giveaway with this one. Okie dokey. So, people, don't forget, go over to Elise Fournier and check out her uh, new way of pouring. And I want to put the um, emphasize what I'm really trying to say is that this is the way that we can make those really big pours because this is much easier than doing the flip cups or whatever. Because um, af afterwards, after the colors, she puts the background color around it, so there's less tilting, and it, it just works for the bigger paintings. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go put on some clothes, because I'm in my bathrobe, yes, and make some coffee and get in my studio, and I'm going to do some serious painting this weekend. So I'll see you all back there. Love you all to pieces. And see you in the next video.